While various engine types have been around for decades, it's clear that there are more efficient ways to power our cars today. Toyota is placing its bets on hydrogen, aiming to leap ahead of electric vehicles. Let's take a closer look at the development of Toyota's hydrogen engines and see what makes the company stand out in the automotive world. Could Toyota's hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine be the future, replacing electric vehicles altogether? Let's explore. Hey, if you're enjoying this so far, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Toyota has always been a trailblazer in hybrid and plug-in hybrid technology, with the legendary Prius first introduced in 1997 leading the charge toward today's electric vehicle revolution. But despite its groundbreaking innovations, Toyota has been cautious about fully embracing the all-electric trend. The debate around this resistance becomes even more fascinating as governments worldwide, from California to the European Union, are moving to ban gas-powered cars by 2035. As the race to cut carbon emissions heats up, automakers are under increasing pressure to shift to electric vehicles. Yet Toyota remains firm in its stance, even going as far as refusing to sign the COP26 pledge to go all-electric by 2040. The company argues that the rapid push for an all-electric future overlooks important challenges. Former CEO Akio Toyota faced backlash for this position, especially as competitors like Jaguar, Cadillac, and Volvo commit to going fully electric within the next decade. Toyota's reluctance to jump on the electric vehicle bandwagon may be surprising given its pioneering reputation, but the company's reasoning is compelling. Toyota argues that a complete switch to electric vehicles is not yet practical. Akio Toyota has publicly stated that EVs are overhyped and that relying on them too heavily could lead to problems. He points to the high cost of electric vehicles and the lack of widespread infrastructure to support them, suggesting that the global adoption of EVs is unrealistic for now. Currently, electric vehicles make up only about 1% of the global car market. But as their numbers grow, new challenges will emerge, particularly the increased demand for electricity. By 2030, the U.S. would need to expand its electricity production by 40% just to keep up, requiring an estimated $100 billion investment in the power grid. Even regions with advanced infrastructure, like parts of Europe and Asia, would struggle to accommodate a full-scale switch to electric. Akio Toyota has championed hydrogen-powered vehicles as the real solution, predicting that hydrogen engines could reshape the entire automotive landscape. Besides the limited range of electric vehicles, he's raised concerns about the environmental toll of battery production and disposal, as well as the insufficient charging infrastructure. Toyota's arguments highlight two key issues. First, there's not enough electricity to power a fully electric future, and second, most of the world's electricity is still generated by fossil fuels. So, while electric cars may seem green, they could end up shifting emissions from the tailpipe to the power plant. Akio Toyota's critics might be missing the point, as he emphasizes that carbon emissions, not combustion engines, are the real enemy. Looking at the global landscape, it's clear that electric vehicle EV, adoption is far from consistent. While Europe and China are leading the charge, countries like the US are lagging, and regions such as Africa have little to no EV infrastructure. This uneven progress suggests the world isn't quite ready to fully embrace an all-electric future. Toyota believes that a complete shift to electric vehicles could alienate a significant portion of its customer base. In 2021 alone, Toyota sold over 10.5 million vehicles across 200 countries, including many in developing regions where charging infrastructure is minimal. By 2035, these areas are unlikely to build the infrastructure needed to support widespread EV adoption. The amazing thing about hydrogen-powered engines is that they are purely mechanical and quite similar to fuel-powered engines. That implies that the little neighborhood shops you feel safe bringing your cars to will be able to fix them. However, there are some drawbacks to hydrogen-powered cars. Hydrogen is highly combustible, challenging to handle and store, and produces nitrous oxide during combustion. Toyota's approach to carbon neutrality is more diverse, considering many technologies to accomplish the objective of zero emissions, in contrast to almost all other automakers who are placing their entire faith in electric vehicles. This mindset looks more and more prophetic in light of the fact that European nations are seeking ways to reduce their energy use due to the conflict in Ukraine and its effects on energy supplies. Hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles have a reinforced tank of compressed hydrogen that travels through the fuel stack, in contrast to conventional EVs that are powered by a battery pack.
The vehicle's electric motors are driven by this converted electricity, and only harmless water vapor is released from the exhaust. Infrastructure is where hydrogen fuel cell vehicles most need to advance. Simply put, there aren't that many hydrogen refueling locations. There are just about 60 in the United States, about 15 in Great Britain, and all of them are in the state of California. There are only a few in Canada. If you can't fill the tank, no one will buy a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle. The cost of hydrogen is the next significant problem. For a brief period, automakers do provide free fill-ups, but eventually, owners are on their own. The price of hydrogen is comparable to that of gasoline and can reach $12 per gallon. For hydrogen-powered vehicles to succeed, that cost must be reduced to $2 per gallon, the electric vehicle equivalent. The fact that hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles are not as ecologically beneficial is claimed as another drawback. Making hydrogen requires a lot of energy, and today fossil fuels account for 99% of production, while the vehicle itself may not contribute to pollution. The production of its fuel most certainly does. Finding a renewable energy option for hydrogen production is necessary to increase public interest in H2 vehicles. Infrastructure can be created, and new, more affordable. Environmentally friendly methods of producing hydrogen can be discovered. It makes sense that since the technology is still in its infancy, it will only advance in terms of powering automobiles. Hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles can compete with electric vehicles for drivers by matching their economy. However, even if H2 vehicles were to become as affordable and practical to use as electric vehicles, battery technology is also advancing and enhancing range, which would eliminate the advantage of hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles. Electric vehicle owners may find no compelling reason to switch from a Model S to a Mirai. In the end, when everything is equal, consumers will stick with what they are familiar with. However, with its dynamic force engine strategy, Toyota has gained considerable prominence. The foundation of their dynamic force engine concept is increased thermal effectiveness. For instance, Toyota is said to have developed motors with 41% thermal efficiency today which is a noteworthy accomplishment given that the majority of gasoline engines have efficiencies of approximately 25 to 33 percent. Finally, the decision is up to the consumer. Battery electric vehicles and hydrogen combustion engine vehicles both have the potential to make substantial contributions to a sustainable transportation system. As is well known, it is unlikely that either technology will replace the other. Instead, they will coexist and fulfill various functions according to individual consumer tastes and circumstances. Thanks for watching.